Hey guys, it's the Wolf, and I'm back with another Red Dead Redemption online video. And today I'm going to go over the controls for your horse. Uh, I remember when I first started playing, I uh, kind of knew how to get on and make him go forward, but I didn't know much about anything else. So I thought I'd just kind of make a video, kind of go over all the basic controls and any other kind of horse tips I can remember. So this is my horse Shorty. He's the buckskin Mustang, and I think he's like a great, you know, all-around horse. He's really uh, calm in a fight, you know, he can handle the gunfire and the uh, wolves chasing him. And he's pretty fast, he's definitely not the fastest horse in the game, but he's definitely not the slowest. I've won some horse races on him, so he definitely has got some speed, and uh, anyway, he's my favorite horse that I've got. So your horse has uh, three speeds, and the first one is walk which is what I'm doing here. And to walk your horse, all you gotta do is push forward on the left stick. And if you wanna go left, you push a little bit to the left. And if you wanna go right, you push a little bit to the, to the right. The second speed is the trot, which is what I'm doing right here. And so how you do that is you push forward on the stick and then you press A. So each time you push A, your horse goes a little bit faster. So if you want a little bit quicker trot, you know, push A twice slower trot you know only push it once so the next speed is the lope which is this kind of slow run type thing and basically you got your left stick push forward and just push a once or twice or maybe three times if you want it to go faster and he'll kick up into that nice lope speed this is a great speed if you're going long distances you can kind of lope along and your horse doesn't lose any uh, stamina as, as he goes now when you want to stop your horse, go ahead and just push the right tab on the controller. That's the one that is, you know, it's not like the trigger on the right side, it's the button right above that on the front of the controller. So if you just push that, your horse will come to a complete stop. Now if you want to do this really cool sliding stop like I'm doing here, first you've got to get your horse up to speed. So you got to get him running, and then when he's going full blast, Push down the A and the right tab button and hold both of them down. So you gotta click them and hold them. You can't let off. And he'll come to that nice long sliding stop, which is really cool. And you can also use this same technique to skid around corners. Like, you know, if you're getting chased by the, you know, police in San Denis or something, and you gotta make a quick escape, you can actually skid around corners using this same technique. Okay, so now that you guys have mastered that, let's go on to backing your horse up. This is real easy. It comes in handy in some situations. You wanna back your horse up into some cover or something. So basically all you have to do is to push the right tab twice and hold. So you push it once and then you push it again and hold. And then on the left stick, just push backwards like you wanna go backwards. And then there you go, your horse will be walking backwards. Okay, so now let's do a little bit fancier trick. Let's get him prancing in place like this right here. So all you have to do with this one is just hit X twice and then hold. So you hit X and then you hit it again and hold. And you kinda gotta do it quick. And he'll prance in place like that. So there's like a second part of this prancing in place and it's called the side pass. And that's getting your horse to basically walk sideways. So what you do is you get him prancing. So you hit X twice and hold. And then while he's prancing, use your left stick and just push sideways. He does this nice, smooth side pass, which is really awesome. All right, so now let's make him rear up. Everybody wants to know how to make their horses rear up because that's just cool. <laughs> so press and hold your left tab and then double click X. Now you don't need to double click and hold X, just double click X. And rearing up for some reason kind of freaks them out a little bit. So anytime you want to kind of calm your horse down, just double click your left stick. So your left stick, you know, you use for direction. Just push it straight down twice. It'll either calm your horse down if he's excited or you'll give your horse a, a pet while he's standing there. And the nicer you are to your horse, the better he's going to take care of you. So you should do that often. <laughs> um, so let's jump back. Let's talk about getting on and off your horse. So Y is obviously the button that gets you on and off your horse. Um, there's a couple different ways you can get back on him. You know, you can just step up like you usually step up. But if you run 
from behind him and run up alongside him pushing Y. He'll start moving forward and you can do this fast mount which is really cool if you're you know getting shot at or have to get out of an area real quick. There's also this little move where if you run straight at the back of your horse you can get on uh, Indian style or at least that's what we used to call it when I was a kid was Indian style. But I think this is my, my favorite way to get on a horse because it's a little bit showy. <laughs> um, let me talk about a few other things like jumping. So your horse will automatically jump obstacles as it comes up to it. So you can see um, as I ran up to the fence, my horse just jumped it. You don't have to push a button for your horse to jump. But if you ever need your horse to jump over something, like I'm going to go ahead and jump this little bush here. Um, if you push X, your horse will just jump. So right here, as you can see, I run up to this push and I push X and uh, I tramp a little, little bit, but you can see what I mean. I just jump right over that bush. And uh, it's just a handy thing to know in case you ever need your horse to jump and you know, he's just not, I guess. So how well you take care of your horse actually affects his speed and um, stamina and things like that. So um, you wanna keep your horse clean and you wanna keep your horse well fed. So we keep him clean by brushing him. And so if you walk up beside your horse and push the left trigger button on your uh, controller, it'll bring up this menu where you can brush him, you can feed him, you can lead him, you can pat him, or you can tell him to flee. Like if you guys are getting shot at or something and you need him to get out of there, you just push this and push B and he'll take off running. Uh, but anyway, I wanted to point that out so you could brush him. And if you don't have a brush, you can pick one up out of the catalog or at the stable. So when you feed him, you can either feed him from here or you can open up your item wheel. And as you can see up on the top there, it says weapons, items, and horse. So if you go over to the right where it says horse, in the space directly to the left where there's that yellow stuff there that says 12 that's where you can see what you have to feed your horse and as you can see there's a lot of different things you can feed them you can feed them carrots and apples peppermint a lot of different herbs what i like to feed them though is this yellow stuff called horse meal and uh, you can't actually buy it you've got to craft it but it's great because it'll fully restore his cores and it'll give you the gold cores for a day so his stamina and his health will have the gold cores and you know just keep your horse in tip-top shape so the one other thing i wanted to tell you guys was about reviving a horse so like in your uh, catalog you can buy horse reviver you can also buy horse stimulant and you can buy horse medicine so horse stimulant is like when your horse is just out of gas and he needs like a pep up shot you can give him a shot of that and it'll boost him back up to full stamina and full health the medicine is pretty self-explanatory so if he gets hurt and uh, his cores aren't coming back up give him some horse medicine and it'll bring him back up and the horse reviver is when your horse gets critically injured and uh, you can use that stuff to revive him so I think all of that stuff is a good buy and I keep a lot on hand and as you can see from what happens right here yeah, I'm getting trolled outside the stable as I was making this video and uh, it actually kind of worked out because I wanted to show you guys how to use the horse reviver. So when this guy comes back to kill me a second time, um, I just go ahead and bring him down. And then I just go ahead and shoot his horse, which is a totally uncool move, but I wanted to show you guys how to revive a horse. So if you have horse reviver and you run up beside the animal, just like as if you were going to like, you know, skin a bear or anything else, the menu will show you revive and then you just push Y can see here I just bring him right back to life this guy just won't quit shot my hat off and then I wasted a little explosive ammo on him <laughs> well this guy just went ahead and tried to you know kill me another like 16 times even though I just brought his horse back to life but uh, <laughs> you can't do anything in a Red Dead Redemption online I notice without some griefer coming by and uh, screwing with you here he comes running again Anyway, guys, uh, that's it for today. Please like the video, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.